volume of a cylinder. Why are the units used for volume different than those used for area? Well, we have to think about what makes up a cylinder, and when we can kind of get to that, we'll be able to answer this question. So the parts that make up a cylinder are two. It's a circle, which is the base, and a rectangle, which represents the outside. Now, based on that, we have to remember the formula for the area of a circle. That is A equals pi r squared, pi being 3.14, and going on forever, but we'll stick with 3.14, and r representing the radius of the circle. Now, if we were looking at pennies, and you wanted to give a stack of pennies its third dimension, we would be talking about height. Okay, and then when we talk about height, if we're stacking pennies, we're basically talking about a cylinder once again. So, the formula for a cylinder then is basically a circle, and what the only difference is, is we're going to add a height. It's going to get us our third dimension. So, in other words, when we're finding just a plain old area of a circle, we're in two dimensions. And because we're in two dimensions, all our units are just squared. When we're talking about volume, volume is in three dimensions. And because it's in three dimensions, all our units are going to be cubed. So we've got to keep that in mind when we're looking at units and how to explain things. So let's take a look at one problem, and here we have a cylinder that has a height of 8 feet and has a diameter of 4 feet. And what we're going to do is take this information and we are going to find the volume of this cylinder. So what we're going to do is write down the formula, volume equals pi r squared h. And because we're going to look for the exact measurement first, we are not going to use 3.14 for pi. We're going to leave it as pi. And then we want to find the radius. Well, here, the diameter is 4 feet. So in order to find the radius, the radius is equal to half of the diameter. So if I take 4 and divide it by 2, I'll get 2. Now, because I need two radiuses, that's what radius squared means, I'm going to write the number 2 down twice. Then it says I need the height. Well, the height of this cylinder happens to be 8. So now if I multiply 8 times 2 times 2, I will get 32, and then the pi comes with me. And since we're talking feet, this will be cubic feet. So this is my exact measurement of my cylinder. Now, if I want to find the approximate measurement for my cylinder, I will use the approximated value of 3.14 for pi, and we know it's a lot bigger than that. And what we'll do is using a calculator, 32 times 3.14, we will get 100.48, which is 48 hundredths. And again, that's still going to be feet cubed. You have to remember, if we are rounding to the nearest tenth, we're going to look at that 8 and remember our rounding rules, and then it becomes 100.5 feet cubed. So these are our approximate measurements. So if we can remember how to do that, we should be fine. And the volume of a cylinder, if you remember that, that'll be the basis for helping us to find the volume of cubes, excuse me, not cubes, but spheres and cones, everything that has a circle as a base.